What's up, YouTubers? This is Sonic Unleashed XY. So, after a long time, you know, not uploading videos for you guys, I decided to upload a video and possibly the most important video you guys will probably see on this channel. Um, and that is my Vidoc 4 Plus um, kind of benchmark, if you want to call it that. Um, it's not exactly going through everything about the Vidoc 4 Plus, but it is going to show you, you know, um, what it has done for me, basically like the improvements with, you know, benchmark. I don't have obviously a comparison, uh, between, you know, with and without, but I do have the benchmark for it, so you guys can go try it out if you have something similar to myself. So, uh, as you can see, my CPU's, you know, uh, pretty much maxed out recording this. Uh, here's my GPU meter with the GTX 680 or MSI G uh, GeForce GTX 680 um, 2GB version. Uh, my drive meter there is the reason why I can't upload as many videos. As you can see, I only got 6 gigs left. And if I quickly navigate through the start menu, uh, I can show you that my overall system. Uh, my overall uh, score on Windows has gone up uh, from 3.4. As you can see, uh, that also proves that I have, and also this is the version of Windows I have. That's the kind of system I have. So, um, no, you're not going to get my serial number. So, here we go. Uh, it's basically improved from 3.4. And 3.3, uh, when I update my CPU's uh, thing, all the way up to 5.5. And mainly the reason why it was 3.3 and 3.4 was because of my graphics. And not my, not the graphics on Windows, it was the gaming graphics that I let it down. Um, and then, yeah, from that on. Uh, from that point on, uh, when I installed my graphics card, the score significantly went up from 3.4 and 3.3 all the way up to 5.5, which is, we'll say, average uh, for gaming. I mean, the lowest you can get is 1.0, the highest you can get is 7.9. Obviously, that score has gone up, so you have to have something like uh, GTX 690 or the GTX Ti Titan. To, in order to achieve that now, but yeah, it goes off by the, um, by the, whatever you have, and yeah, those are the two highest scores. Obviously, my disk drive is not the fastest, my memory, I only got two gigs RAM, so it's not much, and that, uh, so yeah. So that, that's pretty much it. So the next lot of videos go, go through my benchmarks, um, Counter Strike Source. And uh, Sniper Elite V2. I'm also going to do some gameplay on Counter Strike Source. Uh, uh, I can't remember that other one. Uh, what was the gameplay on? Oh, yeah. Uh, Flout. Uh, what do you call it? Flout 1 demo. And also the Minecraft. Uh, basically covering pretty much all aspects of, you know, first person shooting, driving, and something like Minecraft, which is very morning most of the time. Um, I didn't really bother going through Snap Elite V2 number one for some reason my game like for some reason the uh thing keeps minimizing it keeps crashing flaps. Um I'm gonna sort out the problem later on but for now yeah. Also just before I go um please check out the description below. Uh, it usually answers most of the questions you guys gonna ask me like what specs do I have and all that stuff. Read through the description um, and then ask, and then give me questions to answer. Because if you're asking me questions I already answered, I'm simply not going to answer it again. So just to let you know. So again, have a great day, and I hope you enjoy the video and gives you more better understanding of what the Vidoc 4 Plus 275 watts can do for your laptop. So here we have Counter Strike Source. I'm gonna quickly run through the settings and say the minimum of F, um, the minimum average FPS, the second average FPS, and uh, max average FPS. Uh, I ran three tests and obviously I'm gonna arrange it from the order it gave me basically. So the resolution is obviously 1920 by 1080 native. 
uh, aspect ratio, obviously 16 by 19, and obviously the display mode is full screen. So. Model detail low, texture detail very high, shader detail low, water detail, simple reflections, shadow detail low, color correction enabled, anti-aliasing none, filtering mode bilinear, wait for vertical uh, sync, or basically v-sync, disabled, motion blur is disabled, mode call rendering disabled, high dynamic range, none, um, my mouse just disconnected, hold on, okay, and uh, use bloom effect when available is disabled or unchecked, it's running a software a DirectX version 9.0, obviously hardware is DirectX version 9.0 plus. Uh, Windows error extinction is enabled. Um, if that's zero error, well, something I can't, I can't remember how you pronounce it. Um, so yeah, just to know about the vertical V-Sync or um, a vertical sync, sorry, or V-Sync for sure. Um, I have adaptive V-Sync on by default on my graphic card, so it's on whenever application is. So just to know, it won't go above 60 frames per second. Since my monitor is 60 hertz. Um, I also have FXAA, which is uh, NVIDIA. It's basically NVIDIA's way of and it's faster anti-aliasing, if you want to call it that. It's basically uh, some it somewhat makes it um it's basically like anti aliasing but it doesn't have as much of a performance here apparently um but you can read up on that up that on yourself so anyway so i ran three tests on the benchmark as i said before the minimum average fps i got from the test was 58.10 fps um the second highest uh, average frames per second I got was 59 and uh, the max F, um, the max average uh, FPS I got was 59.01 um, so yeah not much of a improvement um, but yeah that's pretty much it I ran an average of 59.01 uh, FPS well that's the highest uh, I got so yeah um, okay so the reason I didn't record the frames per second is because number one, um, that will affect the results, and number two is I simply don't have a powerful machine capable of running a video stress test and recording at the same time. So yeah. So we're moving on. So uh, this is a Sniper Elite V2. I've already done the benchmark for it, as I said before with the cap shots off. Um, this one's kind of different, um, it gave me the average FPS, but it also gave me the minimum FPS, so I'm going to give you two uh, different results. Um, so, obviously, first, before we do that, let's run through the stuff we have. So, obviously, it's 1920 by 1080. The graphics is custom, and, um, yeah, so, texture detail ultra, shadow detail ultra, anti aliasing off. Draw distance ultra, um, anti-scopic filtering off, super, super sampling off, advanced shadows off, motion blur on, ambient uh, collisions, or collisions, or however you pronounce that, off, use compute shaders off, reduce mouse lag off, V-Sync is off, so, uh, or V-Sync vertical so, uh, so, uh, basically, what this is, um, same thing applies from, you know, Counter-Strike Source. I have Adaptive V-Sync on and I have FXAA on, so they do actually affect even though you can't see it on here, so, yeah. Okay, let's move back. So, let's give you the results right now. So, the minimum average FPS I got with this game is 41.6 one frames per second. The second highest I got average frames per second I got on it 
is 42.19 FPS and the highest or the max FPS average FPS I got was 44.48 so as you can see there's kind of a small difference now because this game also gave me the minimum FPS I can also give you the minimum minimum FPS second max minimum FPS so the minimum minimum FPS I got was 6.9 6.09 correction, so about that. The second highest I got was, well, it's the same, 6.09. Um, and the uh, max minimum FPS I got on it is 9.74. So, where, what does that mean? So basically, when you shoot a bullet through someone's head, that's where it caused the most lag. Also, when it's loading up parts of the map because of the hard drive speed, the frames per second were also affected. Um, EG at the start of the benchmark, it lagged for a few seconds as it was still loading parts of the map, but then it ran at a solid, just somewhat 60 frames per second until it got to the guy head exploding, where the frames dropped down to 40 to 30 to 20, all the way down to actually 12. Um, and as you can see here, the minimum FPS here. I'm not too sure about, but that's the results I got, and that's the results I'm giving you, so. Moving on.
So yeah, I recommend you guys check out this game. Far Cry 3 mod for Minecraft, or not really a mod, but a map for Minecraft uh, with a texture pack from, you know, them as well. It's actually officially made by Ubisoft, or the people behind it, uh, so yeah, all good. Uh, this is lagging a little bit. Well, Okay, not a little bit, a lot. But, yeah. Let me just check why it's lagging. Hmm. Options. Oh, uh, yeah, some idiot decided to put the draw distance on far. Normal should be fine. That's graphics fast, blah, blah, blah. Advanced open GL particles and no, 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 no. sure this one is somewhere I should be ready. And field of view should be like quake. Whoa. So okay, 95 is my type. Alright, we're well, all good. Be lagging because we'll just minimise this quickly. Oh, there we go. The size actually affected the game. Oh, lol. Oh, it's just running at a nice crisp 28 frames per second. I don't know where the hell am I, but oh, okay. This, we'll see it's coconuts. Okay. Drop the weapon, don't drop the weapon. Right. Okay, uh, uh, um. What the fuck happened there? Apparently, other things. Oh wow! I actually got arrows in me. <laughs> oh shit! That is not funny. And the chest. Oh dear. Oh shit! Don't wanna go that way. Okay. Uh, trying to survive. So as you can see, uh, with the new settings I have on my flaps and with uh. Yeah, and uh, with, uh, you know, a my external graphic card and all that, I um, vastly have improved frame rates on here. Uh, I don't actually have Optifine installed on here, so imagine with that on as well. Uh, the reason I don't have it on is because Minecraft keeps updating, I can't be bothered to keep updating Optifine. Plus, I haven't really been playing it recently. Don't worry, I'll still continue series. I still have to order original maps and everything, so yeah. Oh, I have to end it because my graphics, um, sorry not graphics, I'm actually running out of space here, so. So I'm playing Counter-Strike Source uh, with uh, the CSS Go map. Um, it's basically uh, it's all this stuff. It's basically bringing Counter-Strike Go to Counter-Strike Source and it's not exactly a weapons mod but it's just basically bringing the map over with a few sound mods but there's no really uh, 
there's no really uh, modification to the game mode stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the reason it's lagging, and I'm running 16 frames per second, is because I have, uh, 18 AIs. Uh, yeah. Quite a lot of AIs. I've got one less, but it kind of ruined the quality of the gameplay. If I wasn't recording, I wouldn't have any issues. Yeah, that's I don't know how I felt that, but that was just a felt.